there's a new boss tank in town. <laughs> Bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. Today I have a fresh look at two tanks, two resin tanks out there in the market from Victoria Miniatures. She sent these over to us for a little promo and review, and I think it's great. I have been tracking these. Well, one's a more recent. One's three years old, I think. 2016. I don't know, but a little, a little bit recent. And um, because they look dope, and it's always cool to have really neat counts as miniatures for your armies out there. Obviously, these are not Lehman Russes, but when you take a look at some of the prices currently in 2019, you kind of scratch your head like, hmm, really? So here we go. We're over at VictoriaMiniatures.com once again, showing you uh, stuff out of here. We've still got a lot of stuff to go. BFGs and character models, all sorts of things still on deck. So under the vehicle section here and there is a new tank on the way the kangaroo apc hopefully we can get our hot little hands on that one you can see all the other tank miniatures in here so you've got the matilda boss tank 74.99 then you've got turret upgrade kits weapon upgrade kits then you got the fury battle tank also the same price turret upgrade weapon upgrade right there then you've even got sponson kits right here for 24.99 um, there's some other stuff in here too, so definitely take a look at it. Now, what comes in each one? Well, you get the tank itself, and now this is the this is the oldest. So this is uh, 2017. Okay, so it's 2017, and it's gonna come. It's actually not a whole lot of parts, and we'll show you that here in a second. But here's kind of how it sizes up with some some of their miniatures right there, and variants, of course, to the not Lehman Russ and the Lehman Russ tank right here in plastic. So you kind of get an idea. It is the appropriate size if you wanted to uh, count as that right there. And it's got a bunch of turret options too. So if you want to switch out with a turret or something like that. Now for $14.99 or $29.99 for the turret, you're probably wondering, well, gee, that, that seems like a lot of money. And yeah, it is. It's, it's a resin tank. It's a completely fresh design. The normal Lehman Russes from Games Workshop are $55. And I was literally shocked. I have to show this to you in, in US dollars because I have a couple of these. The uh, Death Core Mars Alpha Pattern Lehman Russ is $104 now from Forge World, believe it or not. So I had no idea they were that much money. And that doesn't even count the side sponsors. If you buy this kit from them, you may or may not, I haven't bought one of these in years, get the side sponsor bits from the Lehman Russ itself. You may just get um the 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 plastic parts just to make this right here i don't know right now what comes in it but like i said it's 24.99 for the extra resin bits from victorian miniatures can't give you a fair comparison right there but even say you had to buy that then you know you're you're still talking you're ahead of the game i suppose if you like that styling right there so literally floored on some of these prices is crazy i suppose crazy in, in both a good and bad way because this seems like a more affordable alternative. Uh, anytime you're talking boutique resin cast, you're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna cost you money, like straight up. It's just gonna cost you money right there. So that's the way that goes. But when you compare it to plastic, which isn't as detailed, $74.99 as compared to $55 for G-Dub, it's really hard to say, like, which one's better? Do you need six? Well, you might wanna go with the G-Dub. Maybe you want a lead commander tank, something cool, something dope which I'm gonna show you the inside, the inner workings of this and what makes it so cool. Well, maybe that's the way to go. Maybe just get some upgrade charts. Either way, having options is a good thing in, some, in this day and age in the hobby. So what comes in either of these box sets, basically? Uh, well, you get the tank itself, you get all the parts. It's gonna come expertly packed. I pulled up uh, this the turret right here and I pulled the bubble wrap off, but this is literally how it comes. It's almost already assembled for you. You're just gonna have to do a little bit of deflashing the extra parts and the plugs for the sponson are gonna come right here. And then the resin top, the treads are all molded together. All that's gonna come separately as well. So here it is all laid out. This is the Fury variant, which basically is just a different top turret with different weapons. It's the not demolisher Lehman Russ version for all, for all you following along on the Imperial Guard Astro Militarum side of things right here. And you know, it's it's a big chunk, it's a big chunk of resin. It's detailed, it's got all the rivets and all the like paneling and things you would expect. That you got headlights, you got a place to put your point defense weapon right there, some 
slots and stuff now it is hollow and the cool thing about this is that you put this little once you trim it all out you put this little piece in here right to keep it hollow but also it's where you put all your weapon variants because everything just kind of can be put in here then you can kind of squeeze that in with a little pressure you don't need magnets or anything like that it's going to keep all of your weapon variants in there which is neat <coughs> Excuse me, and then you've got the tread section right here, which is very well detailed. You can see all the wheels and everything down here. The tread works really good, but I do want to point out the fact that there is some pretty gnarly mold lines that you're going to have to be aware of. So just get in there with a really sharp blade and just kind of, you know, trim them up nice and neat. But that's where the majority of the flashing is. It isn't, you know, it's easily dealt with. It, you just have to spend a little bit of time on it, I suppose. You got some extra treads, some uh, exhaust and things, your point defense weapons, last cannon heavy bolter, or not last cannon heavy bolter, whatever you want to call it. And then your side sponson uh, points here, and all of these can be attached with some magnets, and I'll show you a little more on that. Well, that's the wrong one. A little more on that here in a second when we get this assembled. And boom goes the dynamite so here is the not fury assemble believe it or not this is the uh was the boss this is the boss tank we switched it up it's a twofer it's a twofer you can see the treads up on the front and then of course we got the point defense weapons which you can easily just glue in there or you can magnetize them i'm not sure probably be just to be easier i don't know if i would change them out as much might be easier just to glue them on there and then like i said you can switch out and magnetize these i'll show you that in a second but this just stays in here with a little tension which is kind of neat and you can put all your weapon variants up up in there as well and then here's the more boxy style turret and this you don't even have to magnetize either it just swaps out uh for all the different things right there so that definitely looks pretty cool and we'll show you that here in a lehman russ uh in a second but i did want to show you this so it's very easy to magnetize these now we didn't but i just want to show you how easy it is uh we just take a quarter inch by 1 16th magnet right there it literally fits in it's the perfect depth i don't know what that is in millimeters to be quite honest you're gonna have to convert it and then you'll just be able to pop these in and out for our friends right here the side sponson so they sell the separate side sponson set which is pretty neat in and of itself now you can trim this part off right here which is basically flash or you could just leave it on there because it honestly gives you enough tension for the most part, it just slides right in and you can just put whichever, you don't even have to magnetize this part either. You just put whichever sponsor you want in there. Boom, flip it over, lock it in. And now you've got whatever, Pask with his plasma cushioner or not Pask with his plasma cushioner or whatever. So you've got that turret. Then you can use the Fury turret if you wanted to. Remember, they sell all these things separate. So you kind of get that, you know what I'm talking about kind of look. And there's the Punisher cannon. That one has a whole different... Uh, set of weapons so plasmas mortars I guess this is I don't even know what that is that the conqueror version and all of that so there's that right there and all that is sold separately as well if you so desire and then as far as size wise we already showed you this on the site but here's how it compares to the death core of creek size pass and of course it is right on track except for you know the rail the trench rails back there but that's totally optional and not something that everybody's really into so i feel like maybe that's an unfair comparison but yeah you definitely definitely see it's very similar in size now this one's definitely heavier because it's pretty much a full-on kit and you can even swap the turrets if you so desire believe it or not hey look at that want a new look for your lehman ross well hey you got boxy box Oh, you got Mr. Fury right here. And I think uh, I think they're pretty cool looking. Definitely give your tanks a little bit snazzier of appearance for sure. Either way, whatever you decide to go with, if any, from Victoria the Miniatures, well, you have a great looking counts as tank right there with whichever turret for whichever variant you want. Uh, make your character stand out or just have something that looks a little bit different on the tabletop right there. And oh, and I forgot to tell you that turrets magnetized too i totally forgot about that part so that is it for this one thank you very much for watching our unbox and review of victoria's miniatures two main battle tanks of course they got more on the way in 2019 as well so there is all that head on over to victoriaminiatures.com to get yours today thank you very much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos